That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Marco Manfred. Here we go again at another episode. Yes, we are back. Humanity with Hafid and Mark. Marco and Manfred. And our right there. producer and engineer Manfred at yes. the board. We love him. The NASA man. We love everybody, don't we? We do. It's good to love people. Except and everybody Guantos. loves you. Everybody. Yeah, not everybody. You gotta uh, have enemies. Yeah. If you don't have enemies, you ain't in the business. If you're an, if you don't have enemies, you're a hypocrite. Is that true? Yep. Really? Hmm. Yep. Okay, I'll have to. Because you're playing the card of one. making everybody likes you uh, and you shouldn't be like give a that. crap if anybody likes me or not. Uh huh. It's my life. I'm going to live it the way I want to. Do we care when people life. likes us or not? Do we really care? It's not that much, but we like it if you like. Watch our YouTube page. Go to our Instagram no, page. Don't. Do the follow. Don't do the subscribe. Don't do none oh, of that. Oh yeah, you're such a liar. You're the hypocrite now. <laughs> no, yeah, but right. you know this is the thing though. I hate telling people to do that. I know, but you know what? It's one of those stupid things we got to do in the world today. It's part of the white noise. I think the product should always speak for itself. It does. Our products usually do. Yeah. You so know, we don't push force people to like us. I mean, or... we had no idea or no, we weren't trying to win any awards or accolades or anything with our movies. And we did. We won. A we, lot. Did. we did. We did. Which was cool, but lot. that totally came out of left field. At I least know. it did for me, man. I, I know. I had no idea I was going to win anything and I didn't oh, really go. think That's about good. it. That's good. Or maybe no. you're just being humble. No, I do the work to do the work. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And you have do a good your time. Thing. Tell the story. That's it. Right? That's it. Right, Mike. Speaking of stories, man, mm. <laughs> this is kind of weird. In the last 24 hours, uh, we watched a couple movies. Okay. Really, just random picks. Okay. And it was really weird because the topic and the subtopics were pretty much the same thing. You know, we didn't read about them. We just put them on and started watching. Mm-hmm. And they both had to do with life and death mm-hmm. and their subplots or extra plots that were thrown in were fascism and Nazis. Yes. Okay. Dude, it was weird. And I was like, what the hell is the message coming at me this weekend? You know, life and death, mm. fascism, Nazis, all that crap. Mm. It was, we watched Pinocchio and uh, a movie called white noise, mm. which was interesting. Um, Guillermo del Toro's version is very different from the original, Mm. but it's really cool the way he wrapped it around Mm. into a different story. And basically it's all about life and death, you know, and so is white noise and our fear of death Mm. and, uh, you know, all the crap in society that, uh, is around us that keeps us discombobulated and worried and fearful about what's going on in our lives that we don't actually pay attention to our own lives and live our own lives. Mm. We're living by influences that are around us. Mm. So it was, it was really trippy to watch and it was kind of bizarre. And I was thinking, what the fuck? Who's trying to message me something? Is someone in my family going to die? Am the I going to die? The no, it could be aliens. I don't know. But <laughs> 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 but no, dude, it, it was we really should get some foil. Do we have some aluminum foil? <laughs> <Seriously>? <laughs> Mark's head right now. <laughs> yeah, right. Here, put this on me. There you go. No, but it's like, you know, life and death. It's That's all there is, man. It's life and death. 
we're born, we experience shit, and then we're gone. Damn, that's some depressing hell. No, it's, shit. no, 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 it's Fuck. not depressing when you think I just about it. Fucking go to bed. Now. The guy, the, no, the guy no, that no, wants no. to smile all the time, dude. Seriously, smile. You know, Episode smile. nine or two. <laughs> but no, it's 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 why are we so fearful of death? Seriously, I'm not. Really? But, that, but that's oh. everybody's spoiler, you know. Like we're all dying. I'm not. Like it's yeah, we're born to die. Like, I'll why, tell but you. you know what? That's you know, fucking life is like. That's it. It's a blink of an it. eye. Yeah. So what are you gonna do with it? Enjoy it. Go out and have as much fucking fun as you can. Right. Be nice to people. Be cool with people. Learn stuff. Teach right. stuff. Make smile. some great art. Smile. All that stuff. You know. It's like. I don't want to look back at my life, you know, when it's coming to the end and say, fuck, I missed out on a lot of sure. things or, oh, I was fucking angry all the time sure. or this and that, you know, and we all go through it. But that's that's the white noise that I right. was kind of talking about with this movie. Right. It's all the exterior shit that bombards us, right. you know, so we're always worried about something and, oh, there's a pandemic and sure. blah, 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 blah. And it's like, you know, what? fucking live your life, man. Go out and have fun. Be cool with people. You know what? I'd rather get to my end of my life and say, yeah, I know 20 million freaking people. And if I had a good time with all of them, you know, obviously I'm not, but still it's like, put the positive shit out there and live a great life if you can. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I've heard, that uh, a lot of people in their dying bed, like, you ask them, and it's like, like, what's your biggest regret? It's like, not doing everything Enough. I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah and do it while you're young. People, they can't, that it's, uh, it's easier said than done. Yeah, true, but okay, you know, I think you got to think about it, and it's like, when you're young, okay, yeah, we all screwed around too much, we had too much fun, we partied, we this and that, but it's like, find your passion when you're young. Mm -hmm. And really think, take time to think about it. What turns you on as far as work or art or this or that? And go after it with a vengeance, sure. you know, and don't let anybody, anybody else in your life dictate what you should be or what you should become or how you should act, et cetera, et cetera. But if you look at the world around us, there's so much shit out there telling us to be who we should be. Well, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, no, it's, it's crazy. It's all this white fucking noise. We're going to create some white fucking noise tonight, but you know what? It's, it's really. But we're creating. I mean. Yeah, I know we are, but you know, and, and, and I, we, we try to do things on a positive note and, you know, be fun and informative and shit like that, you know, but there's, there's a lot of just bullshit out there, you know, and we worry a lot about things and we get angry about a lot of things and we have regrets it's like i want to live my life with as few regrets as possible mm. do what you want to do then yeah that's the key i think i always have yeah you know it's um it's a tricky business man it's really tricky business uh, i heard this this somebody said it again one of those not mine but i don't remember who said it most of the pain most most pain that we live comes from imagination than reality yeah well it's outside in, outside influences but then we freaking it's, it's spin it in our mind and we freak out that you exactly. carry in your head exactly right like and i think we we, we talked about this last week i believe when when you were kind of like beating me up for worrying about not getting a text <laughs> oh there you go which is yeah, just see? you know it's, it's all in your head perfect example yeah no it's perfect and it's, it's all in your head and um, the, the people, I, I think we're becoming a smaller population. In what that, sense? That we're connected? Con we're connected and right. it's affecting us in a way. It could be good. It could be bad. I don't fucking know. I think we're in some sort of a transition between the past. Maybe we're coming out of age into this. I, I don't know. Because back in the day, if you live in a small group of people, you know, it could be warm another continent and you don't even fucking know about it and you're good nobody's bothering you. i live my life it's happy i go get the wood and make fire and cook some fucking pineapples <laughs> or some bullshit i don't know <laughs> and you're, fishing. right and you're happy but now i think the, the world is becoming more smaller we're connected so we see what's out there and it fucks with your head oh yeah and there's so much more noise out there now yeah and we're exposed to everything 
And then there's people out there giving out misinformation and controlling information and fearful information and people buy into that shit, you know? That's the kind of crap that's really fucking dangerous. And it, we're in the a, a new age of information for sure, mm-hmm. you know, but we're being bombarded so much and we, we got bills to pay. We got our job. We got our kids. We got our this and our guy. It's like, you know what? If we just ha- cut out half the shit in our lives, go back to the seventies. You can't. I know you can't. You just have to deal with it. But you just, people are fucking taking meds. People are fucking unstable. People have mental issues. It's like, Take time to slow down and think for yourself. Don't listen to the fucking outside world sometimes. Stop listening to us. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) He said it. (laughs) Well, no, I'm just saying, like, you know, and it's true. It's all this shit comes down on top of us. And we don't take the time to sit and think. Maybe people, they do. Maybe do they? Pe- yeah, I may- think they maybe they freak out. No, no, no. I think I think it's, it's, it's like I said again, and I think it has to do with like I think we did the first episode, second. I don't remember, but mm-hmm. motivation and don't give up. I think a lot of people really do think about it. They do know what they want. They just don't know how. Turn off the outside world, sometimes. and it's hard. Yeah, it's it's hard. Like yeah, you, you, there's so many things. Like I mean, you can take us for example. There's so many things going on in your life. You want to maintain your work. You want to maintain your balance at home. You want to maintain this. You want to pay your bills. You want to live decent. You don't want to fucking live like fucking bullshit. Right. So all this stuff, it hits you and you don't know what you want to do. I guarantee you. And I used to say this a while back. Like, hey, I used to say, I think the, the problem of society of being mi- fucking miserable is, uh, is distribution. I honestly think there's distribution. And without naming names, I talked to a doctor. He fucking hates his life. Scary. Why? Right? Why? He's a doctor. He makes shitload of money. And he told me, Hafid, this is not what I fucking want to do with my life. <laughs> okay? And I guarantee you, and I guarantee you, there is somebody out there who fucking loves to be a doctor. But he does not have the possibility to do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he would be perfectly happy. Mm-hmm. I think society needs a shuffle. I think we all pursue our goals and our dreams for money. Well, we have to sustain a lifestyle, like you said. Exactly. We don't want to live in the and shit hole. Exactly. We got to pay our bills and we got to take care of our family. You've got to feed this, and this clothe. Little sounds and like the a shit fucking, starts adding up. Yeah, I know. So, But it's like... That's why I say find your passion when you're young. Find a passion. And go for it. Well, I think we have an advantage, Mark. Uh, You, myself, and Manfred. and We do have an advantage. Artists tend to find their passion early. If you're not an artist, they don't know. They really don't know what the fuck they want to do. They don't know what the, their passion is. They don't even know what their fucking purpose in life is. Some people is. do. Some people don't. That's what I'm saying. Like for us, I mean, yeah, I, I know what I want to be since I was a fucking five years old, six years old. I'm sure the same for you and you. You know, that's, you just have, like they call it, I don't know if it's a gift or a curse. You know, we just, we know what the fuck we want to do. We're entertainers. We want to tell stories, we, you know. But the people who don't have this, you know, how do they know what they want? And to me, is try and error. Yeah. Keep doing. You got to experiment. Until try this. Until something looks. hooks. Mm-hmm. All right. And Until then, you get that feeling. Exactly. And then don't do it for the money. Do it because you really want to do that. That's what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, yeah, you see people in certain positions, they fucking dread and hate their life. But they got to pay the bills. Well, guess what? It's not cool. It's not fair to you. And it's not for to the people that come see you. How many times you go to a store, you go someplace, and some fucking employee is just miserable, hate, treats yeah, you like shit. His life because yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I know you gotta pay the fucking bills, but go do something you like, especially if you're young. Right. Especially That's, if you're yep. fucking young. Yep. Don't sit there and just like, well, I gotta pay what a fucking cell phone bill. <laughs> Big fucking deal. Go you know? travel. Especially if you don't have a family, if you don't have responsibility, mm-hmm. explore, man. Sure. 
explore. Don't wait until you're heavy because once you have responsibility, you have kids and family, guess what? Then you're a dick if you let your family <laughs> fucking struggle yeah. and, and, and suffer just to do what the fuck you want to do. Wait on having those kids. Yeah, <laughs> no, because... No, it's true. So... To me, yeah, just explore. Have a purpose. Have really a purpose, regardless of what it is. Just have that purpose in life. And that's what makes people actually feel good. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, the way to feel happy and fulfill, a lot of people, they go into this, this mode of fucking vacuum, black hole, like darkness you don't know and you hate your life. Purpose. And this is an advice. Again, I'm not a fucking psychiatrist. I don't know nothing, okay? Yeah. <laughs> this is just, if, if you get into that mode, just go do any job. Seriously, job is connected to a purpose if you don't know what you want. Go fucking work. I don't know. I don't know. Dishwasher. Go do be a dishwasher. Cleaning that plate because that's your goal to clean that plate and help the process of the restaurant. It's going to give you a little purpose. Mm -hmm. You're going to snap. You're going to fucking start firing up those neurons in your head and things will start connecting and, and you're going to start discovering other things. The worst thing to do, I think, in my opinion, is feeling fucking miserable, like you said, and not knowing and dealing with the white, with the noise and don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Right. That's that's the worst. Got to take a chance. Get up, do something. Yeah. I mean, do you think there's a lot of people that, when they come to the latter part of their lives and they're getting ready to check out, that they have a lot of regrets? Some of them, I believe so. Yeah. Some I, I, believe I believe everybody. So. Everybody. I wouldn't generalize it. I wouldn't. Like there's always going to be. I mean, Some certain things, that, like, certain things. But again, I wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even make it hard for them. Okay, so. Some guy, he did good. He did everything possible that he can do. And I, when he got older, he's like, fuck, I regret treating my kids this way. Mm -hmm. Or I, I regret doing this to this kid. Not this spending way. time with my family. Right. Not, yeah. But again, that w to me, and I, this is to everybody. You guys really have to think like this. That's the only way you're going to move on. You did the best you could at that moment. Mm. Good point. That's it. But it's trying to do the best you can at every moment. And like, you try to get better as right. you go. You grow. Right. But right. when you made that one decision, whatever it was, that's all you had. And what happens with time, we forget the shit you were living in. We forget what was surrounding you. And your brain just captured that moment of guilt like I should have. <laughs> And we but, start beating but ourselves you had, up. Yeah, you had a lot of shit going on in your life, you know, so... Perfect example. When we're shooting the film, we could have said, "Be like, fuck, we could have done this this way." But at that moment, <laughs> at a hundred and fucking twenty degrees, and and nothing going, you did the best you could mm -hmm. at that moment. Mm -hmm. And we did something. That's it. And we did something. Yes, and you move and it was on. Amazing. We achieved. Yeah. yeah. We and the next time you you think about that, you plan it. You know. <sighs> This this one dude, and I think we say this in so many languages. I heard it the other day in, in, in Arabic, and it was re it sounded better. I'm, I'm gonna try to translate it, but I hope it has the same effect. He said, "It is nothing but being uh, uh, hard headed, harder than refusing." He said, "Guilt or regret is refusing to accept the past." Just fucking accept that you're fighting it. You're in this state of fighting things. Like mm -hmm. you're fighting. That's that's a regret. You're fighting the past. And he said, if you're fighting the future, I don't know how the fuck you guy looks like I slaughtered it. But <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you get the, the fucking point. The best thing to do is yeah. be in the present, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be in the present. Let go. Live your life. Exactly. Let yeah. go. Let but go. But live it, you know? Let go and live it. Do the best you can. Sometimes, okay, and I know if we're probably, life is full of bullshit, full of shit, full of crap. Wait, wait, if no, I it's... talk to somebody right now and he probably heard us, he'd be like, yeah, you motherfuckers, you're sitting there with lines on your hands, with the fucking cameras and tea and cookies and, you know, dressed up and all this bullshit and you're fucking telling me what to do where I can't even fucking find water. Mm -hmm. We get it. 
and I'm not going to tell you smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell you none of that. All I'm going to say is sucks. But it's do the best you can with that's what's, it. what's there, right? That's it. That's and it. things change. Yeah. And that's a good point. Yeah. Because a lot of people, when they go into this mode of depression and, and hatred to whatever they're doing or some situation, we tend to think that that's forever. It's fucking temporary. Yeah. That's Everything it. is. It's not. Whatever you're going through, you're at work and your boss tells you to fucking do something. Yeah, I hate my life. No. <laughs> You hate that moment <laughs> and it's going to pass. Okay. Or if you fucking run into, you broke your leg. Ah, my life is over. I hate my life. No, you hate your fucking moment. Your leg is broken. <laughs> It'll pass. So believe me. And when, when we say shit like this and we talk like me and Mark, I mean, we've been through shit. We've been through life. And what you see here. Like we said with the, oh, actually I showed the man for the picture today. It's a really cool photos of the guy that's uh, juggling plates, you know, those thing. And so they have the, the, the stage and behind the stage, there's stairs, plenty of stairs. And the top, of course, that's the stage and you have the audience and he's on top going like this with, with, with plates juggling them. And each stairs behind them has fucking tons of broken plates. <laughs> yeah. So practice, practice. But that's exactly. what people don't see. Yeah, that's what people don't see. So when exactly. we say shit like this, believe me, it's not coming out of our fucking ass. We've been through it. We've been through it. I've Everybody's been through, been through stuff, yeah. you know, but it's it's how you deal with it, how you process, how you move forward. But and come out of it. But I mean, think about it. I mean, basically our lifespan is 80, 80 some years. I thought it was 200. Not yet. No. Not yet. <laughs> we haven't gotten there yet. But... So, yeah, it's a limited amount of time. So pack in as much fun shit and good stuff as you can. I mean, I feel sorry for these people who walk around angry at the world, angry at other people. Oh, your skin's brown. Fuck you. Mm. You know, oh, you, you're you fucking from Mexico. Fuck you. Yeah. You know, why? What for? What is the purpose? Fear. Just, just to I feel better about themselves. And no, no, no. It's really, scared. But do they it's really? Fear. They can't. And it's I feel fear. sorry for them because you're fucking wasting your life, you know? Why to him? That's his purpose. Hate life? Yeah. Believe it. Some people, they Everybody actually get fucking it. fun out of it. They enjoy it. Like that sucks. They, they, that's what feeds him. Like, he feels like he did a purpose. It's almost like a villain in the story. Mm. In his own mind, he's doing the right thing. And they yeah, because I mean, like, his, life, his life's it. shit. And then, like, he wants it. It's like, well, why is he going to be happy? He's like, going to blame, blame it on other people. Else, man. Oh, we got tea. Oh, oh, shit. You know? Mm. And it's, I mean, life is too short. I don't want to be fucking be angry at anybody or anything. You know? I want to hang out with friends, make more friends, party, drink tea, you know, make movies. There you go. It's like, I just, I can't understand people that are like that. You know, here you go, Matt Fred. All right. Dr. Let's Dr. get our tea. If I can crank up Dr. that music Dr. for us a little bit. Oh, let me put uh, yeah. some. Uh, there you go. Some. Fuck yeah. Some tea. Jimmy Chunga. Yeah, baby. Bro, salute. Ah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Drink tea and listen to music and be fucking happy, man. (laughs) Well, you know, I mean, life, death, death, life, you know, it's, Uh, like I said, it's way too, it's way too freaking short. I'm going to eat a cookie. Have a cookie, Huffy. Fuck it. Chocolate, baby. Chocolate. Here's another thing. I don't, I don't understand. Why, why are we so afraid to die? Is it just because of that unknown factor? Is it that fear? Is it that same thing? I'm not. That, see, okay, so this is the weirdest part about it. How do you look at death? I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of one thing. What? How am I going to fucking die? Okay. Not the death itself. I don't want to fucking so get, I don't want to, I, I don't want to get eaten by a lion. 
that's your big fear in life. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, like that's his biggest big fear in life. Yeah. I do. I worry. Like I don't feel like at that time, Africa. that's how I'm gonna fucking die. I have that feeling. I don't know why. But that I'm could re- be fun. <laughs> No, dude, like that just fucking crazy. I don't want to get killed by a fucking bear or, or, a lion. or I don't want to get killed like in some fucking place where they capture you as a prisoner and they're ripping your nails and shit like that. So the way I die, that's what freaks me out. <clears throat> Really? But yes, but the death itself, it really doesn't. Because again, I know you, you were asking me that. It depends. If you're a religious person, you dream about paradise, heaven, whatever it is. I don't know. To me, I just see it like when I die, it's going to be like when I was never born. Exactly. You don't know. It's going to be peaceful. Nothing. Go to sleep and that's it. It won't even be peaceful. It won't even be nothing. Well, because no, it's going to be relaxing because you just. No, nah, because if you say relax, go. well, are you talking Unless about, are you talking about the process of dying or, or when you're, you're dead? Jet <laughs> crash. See, that's fucking weird too. Wow. Well, I think you'll, you'll slam the ground. You'll pass out quick. I think you die before that. Do you die before that? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, your brain your just shuts heart down. Heart and heart 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 <laughs> <or something. laughs> How did he die? He was sleeping uh, first class on a plane. Yeah, like nobody woke me up, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you so asked you not to be disturbed, <laughs> sir. So you could panic and freak out. Yeah, no, know. but it's it's it, that's just me. I don't know, but yeah, like really, that doesn't 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 bother me. It's just how you die. But I think what gets us scared about it too, like not even that, it's just, I think we just don't want to die. That's the thing. A lot of people don't want to die because you enjoy life. You want to live. You want to live as much as you we can. We like it. But again, people who are fucking living shitty life or some We're weird unhappy. fucking, or some fucking prisoner that's getting tortured or whatever. He'd rather fucking die to him. Death is is an escape. Yeah, it's just perspective, your situation. How I think what 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 dictate or what shows really the value is just how how you live your life. And I'm not gonna say. And as much as this might sound motivational, I'm not gonna say how you live your life. You choose to be happy. I get it. You don't fucking choose to be happy. Shit hits you in life. It's just the effort the effort we do and how we. Listen to this. <laughs> Sometimes don't say shit. Just this. That's it. I think I said it in that video. What yeah, silence. Silence. Different type of silence. silence. Yeah. Enjoy the music. <sighs> silence. <laughs> I mean, do you want to like grow old till you're decrepit and someone's wiping your ass? No. <laughs> Neither do I don't I. want that, dude. Like, b- because at that point, it does not. It's not life anymore. Yeah, I know. It's not life. So what do you do? You check out. You fucking check out, dude. If you can't fuck it, like that's it. Don't they have those suicidal clinics? I think it's it's, yeah. it's legal here in the state too, mm-hmm. in a couple yeah. states. Assisted suicide. You just go and fucking. I'm out. Peace out. It was nice loving you. Nice loving dude, you. I'm out. Have you seen Have you seen the the sleep pods in Switzerland? Yeah, I seen those. Those are dude. totally yeah. cool. Yeah, man. yeah, I seen them because sure. really, I mean. When you become a burden, it's not fun, man. Right. It's just not fun. Like you're depending on somebody to come and. and it's kind of humiliating. Not Is only it? that, and you're rubbing yeah. the other person from their life. Mm-hmm. You lived your fucking life. Don't be mm-hmm. such a fucking greedy motherfucker. <laughs> you know, the, you lived your life. Why are you going to rub your kid who's 20, 30, 40 years old? He's barely struggling with kids. Yeah. And you're going to take that from him. Come be. But then, but then there's also like, like for example, I'm just, who put the fucking cookies? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, like there's also, uh, like my grandmother, like she had (laughs) Alzheimer's for like, uh, like over 18 years. Mm -hmm. And like at the end, like it was basically like, she was like vegetable state, like nothing. So, but at that point, like, it's not, like, her brain doesn't even, nah, no, it's not there on. anymore, you know? So, it's not even her, you know, wanting to have someone still taking care of her. Like, she's gone already. Mm-hmm. But it's it's the love, like, for example, my aunt, like, she stayed her whole life taking care of her. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah, I, I could say the same thing. It's like, oh, like, poor, like my That's aunt, crazy, you know, that man. she left, like, like, she didn't get married or anything because she, like, she was there taking care of my grandmother. 
but then like that's the difference you know like she like my grandmother wasn't even there anymore like it wasn't like her wanting to have someone taking care of her anymore like it, it's it's because of the love that you have towards someone that you're like well i'm not gonna sure. let him die but in my opinion yeah. like i've said it uh, before too it's suffer. like if i'm in, if, I, if i'm in that position pull the plug and if god doesn't want me here anymore then i'll just drift off into my next well, life you know that's, but that's why you got to have an advanced directive <laughs> Yeah, and you tell people, you, you know, have because that shit in place. you got to have those documents in, in place, writing. Man. Yeah, because then if not, then that's what happens, you yeah. know. Like, and and it's it, you I do mean, it out of love. Like I mean, you don't even do it if you're like you're in a car crash and you become a vegetable and you're laying in bed. Just uh, yeah. it's like I don't want to live like that. Yeah, like like take me to a doctor. To try to family. help me, you know, like for six months a year. If it doesn't work out, yeah, then. Ooh. Pull the plug. Pull the plug. That's it. Like, don't don't waste your life, you know? And don't I, waste I, everybody else's. I, I know you something. love me. I know everybody loves me. So, I mean, I'm good with that, you know? Like, right. if I'm not supposed to be here, then you pull the plug. And if I'm, I'm supposed to be here, then I won't die. And if I'm supposed to leave, you know, then... Yeah, and I think, I think like Mark mentioned, I think you have to have your paper ready and all that shit. Like yeah, directions. You can, you and I can think, do it when you're freaking 18 years mm, old, when be, you're an adult. And I think you can do that just to take to take the, the responsibility mm -hmm. on, on, on the family members. Because yeah. sometimes nobody wants to take that and no one wants on to their talk on their own it. head like right. oh it was my decision to pull the plug or right oh that you can't that's no, it's like, my own decision but Rock, if it paper, was scissors. if it was on paper then nobody will ask you exactly mm -hmm. you so, know because it happened to my wife so many times where family members and what are you gonna do pull the plug well, yeah. i don't know fuck well you should pull the plug and yeah. this and that if it was on what paper do the think? doctor would have done it right what do you mm -hmm. think he or she wanted exactly so it's yeah it's and i think we need to redefine what life means if you have a fucking heartbeat that's not life life is way bigger than just fucking few organs operating i think it's being able to communicate yeah you know? and, and enjoy it and, and it shows the importance of communication you know you know, you know which, even if you have to write i mean if you can't speak you can write you know? and i think like we, we talked earlier and i think that's what technology and evolving does to you because imagine all the scenarios back in the day they didn't fucking exist they used to bury people and still alive thinking they're dead that's why they created the fucking bells in the graves Jesus. in case yeah. they're like plan 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 well, they so just yeah. six feet under the ground nobody hears exactly. it exactly like, ah! yeah so back in the day shit didn't Fuck reach that. this level because you just stopped Fuck oh that. he's not oh breathing God, bury so his bad. ass Fuck <laughs> that. You got, all yeah. you got all fucking cemetery going musical on your land. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck uh, yeah, no, but now with technology, I think we, we take it a little bit too much. Why? He's brain dead. He's this. We can keep him on the machine. Why if this all fucking this machinery shit didn't exist? I, know. I mean, fuck. You yeah, know? Back in the day, man. It's yeah, like it's prolonging the inevitable right yeah and, and that's that's the problem now i think because, i mean again it, i don't know if it's a good thing i think it is a good thing but it does come with some bad thing in the side you know medical field got so advanced yeah and um you know we help people i think we i think we should medical should be like to help people in our country, it's all about money. Yeah, fuck. I know. See, there's that white noise Give me the again. cookie. Dude, there's who that... fucking put this shit in <laughs> <laughs> There's that white noise Thank again, you. you know? It's like, hey, you got to mm. pay your bill. You know, I don't, I mean, I kind of look at death, you know, the way I see it is like, you know, I'll, I'll go see my mom. Mm. That's mm. it. Mm. You know, I mean, that's one of the big regrets in that I have in my life and that I, I get angry about sometime is that my mom left us too soon. Mm. you know and she was such a cool person great person she was a nurse and it's like shit why mm. fucking diseases you know crazy shit yeah it's yeah yeah it's like my dad he passed away when I was 11 cancer and it's like why did it happen you know mm. it's you never know and yep it's you never they, know and, anything and it's things, thing. how do you say you know like it, how, you, you need to learn how to live with it, you know, and cope with it and move on, you know, like still live because 
Yeah, that's why I'm saying, you know, live live as full as you can, man. Get your ass off the couch and go do shit and be involved. You know, that's, I, I, I get a feeling sometimes that a lot of people are sitting around waiting to die, though. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it's like when I get older, I don't know if I want to live where I'm living right now. I think I want to live more in a concentrated area with people because mm. I, I live kind of isolated now mm-hmm. or out kind of in semi country or whatever, but it's like, you know, it'd be nice to retire to the beach in Spain, ride your bike. You're in a little village or something, you know, everybody, mm. you know, it's just, I, I don't want to isolate myself when I'm older so I can be peaceful you well, know, I, mean, I like it's... people. I like doing things. I like going places, seeing things. Well, the things. thing is, like, will you still like people when you get older? Again, things well, change. We're not going to like everybody, but still, I want to be around certain people in situations where I can go do things. I don't want to sit and fucking watch television all day and just eat my meals and then I don't, go to bed. I don't, I don't think you'll, you'll do that because, again, and I think this is the thing that the artists have. I don't know. Artists do have this thing that's cool. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, you'll never see me bored. Yeah, there's always something to do. Okay, so I think for you or me, I think if I get older when I can't fucking move no more, like uh, everything hurts, I think I'll write. There you go. You know, I think I'll have other venues mm-hmm. to like. An escape. Yeah, so you have that purpose, even though you're like on a fucking timer, but at least... You still do. Yeah, you got something going on. And I think the ones that are not creative in their mind and not necessarily with art, just mm-hmm. creative in, in, in general, I think those are the ones who find it difficult once they get older. They're like, what do I do now? Yes. Yeah. Or they tie their life to certain things when they're, when they're young and they make it their life, their objective in mm-hmm. life. Just to have a purpose. Some people like, and again, this is like, I think I've I seen this in my own family. Like my mom, for example, she, she tied her life to her kids. Mm-hmm. But that's a good choice, though. With the little problem, because right now her kids are gone. Mm. So she's finding it difficult to deal with the kids because the kids are doing their thing. Mm-hmm. So she's still trying to like get involved in their life, but it's not working because they got their own life. Mm-hmm. And if I, I tell her mom, forget the kids, they're grown ups, they're gone. That's it. Grandkids. W- what else can I do? Grandkids. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Why? They're, they're separated. Everyone <laughs> in the U S one in Morocco, they're fucking everywhere. So it's like, what do I do? Mm-hmm. And if you take that from her, that's, like we say in Moroccan, that's a liver. In Morocco, they call loved ones liver. That's that's my liver. Hmm. Like you take that away from me. What's there in me left? So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not easy. I think people should, like you said, start thinking, you know what? I'm getting older. Pick a new hobby. Go do some pottery or some shit. I don't fuck. Play know. pickleball. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> Just do. Well, you know something. what? I mean, you, you know. know what? Should older people should do? Honestly, I think they should work with the schools. A lot of them do. I think. Like honestly, like once you get a certain age, it should be some sort of like um, voluntary program where mm-hmm. they pay him like a hundred bucks or some bullshit, mm-hmm. and have those older people go to class and tell their stories to the youngsters. Mm. Just to give them perspective. Do you think the youngsters care? Who cares? As long <laughs> as they're sitting there and, t- you know, it's there. It will go into their brain. They will hear some parts. They will hear something that they care about. I think it would it would keep the relationship and listen to Because right now, most kids don't fucking listen to anybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, kids, yeah, like, you're fucking media. old. You're they fucking listen old. To social media. <laughs> you know. You like, you want to hear those stories. You you want to see what people went through and it gives you a perspective again and it humbles your ass a little bit. I mean, if you're a kid, it might not humble you, but at least you'd be like, wow, what the fuck? 
But it's like when, uh, like when you're young and your parents like give you advice or tell you like, hey, don't do this because of this. Like that you're young and you're like, what the fuck are they gonna know? <laughs> but then you grow older and you're like, oh shit, they were right. Yeah. You know, so yeah. like so having that you perspective, do? you know, of like. So what do you do when situations like that? Do you do you wait and it's too late and you say, I told you so, or you fucking do something about it and piss the fuck out of them and then turn it into you'll be called abusive. Uh, what do you do? <laughs> How do you solve that fucking problem? I guess it comes with age, like learning for yourself, you know, like, I don't know, man. Like I, I always, I always think about that. Like, okay, you want to tell your kid or somebody younger, don't fucking do that. No, I'm not going to let you do that. Man, 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 man. Oh, fuck it. Go do it. And then you're going to learn the fucking hard way. And then when they learn it the hard way, it's too fucking late because mm-hmm. I could have prevented it. Tough. But though. then if I had prevented it, I, w- I would be a fucking dick and ass. And, and <laughs> what do you do? I don't know, dude. I mean, <laughs> when we grew up, we, we listened to our parents. We did. You know, I mean, we went out and We're had a shit ton to. of fun, rode our bikes, did crazy things, but... You know, we were always home for dinner and, you know, then we could do our homework and then go out after dinner or whatever. But, you know, I think we always kind of listened to our parents. But then there were those moments like, hey, let's go do something different, Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And then we got in a shit ton of trouble and Mm -hmm. we learned from it. We got grounded for a month or whatever. Got got spanked. Shit, we got beat. (laughs) No, we didn't get beat. We got spanked, you know. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Like it, it always really trips me. But again, the kids these days, they need parents. I don't, I'm not going to just blame the kids, honestly. You know, par- the kids need parents. And parents don't exist these days. Yeah, they're, they're too they're fucking all busy. Exactly. Working yeah. and paying With bills. With all that and white being, noise going exactly. on. Exactly. But yeah. so what then if they don't go fucking work, what are they going to do? Yeah. It's, no, I know. It's, it's a dog chasing its, its tail. fucking but, mess. Marcus is, man, I mean, he said it. He said that... um. Um, capitalist countries or capitalist economies, um, they 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 make the population depressed, and um, you know people are gonna think, oh, he's a fucking socialist right now. <laughs> no, but that's a way of control. But it's it's just the way it is. Capitalism does it has its good and it's bad. I guess mm-hmm. just like any system, just really. like anything else. But, but when you when you have a system that tells the people exactly what they have to do or what they can't do or what they can read or what they can't read or what they can be taught, that takes away life. Because life is about learning shit sure. and doing things. Well, it and takes like away the said, choice. And, and you said it's about learning through experience. Mm. Okay. And so if you're stuck in a regimented society that doesn't allow you to go do this, do that, experience this, learn this, learn that, and then make your own opinion about it, that's fucked. You know, that's totally fucked. I think... Yeah, it's it, fucked. It, it but again, against but again, itself, well, really. okay. But are you gonna blame the teller or the doer? Like, okay, so the society is telling you to do this and do that and do that. Why can't you not do that? In some societies, you can't just do that. Okay, the and now society have- want me to read some book. I don't want to fucking read it. Who's gonna make me read that book? No, but at least you have the option. To read it or not. Are you talking then, about other societies? And what about the, the guy who says, no, you can't learn about black history or you can't learn about this. He can can't. say all the fuck he want. I can still go and learn about it. Yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> you know I mean? we live in a country that's pretty free. I mean, pe- you know, if people want to have- listen and follow, I guess I get it. Most people are fucking followers. That's yeah, just the nature of it. People that like to follow. There's countries that, doesn't, that don't have YouTube or have... You know, edited YouTube or restricted this, sure. restricted that North because Korea. their governments want that mind wash. That's fucked. No, up. that's that is fucked. That up. goes against life itself. Okay. No, that's fucked up. Yeah. Living like, in that regime is fucked could up. Could you imagine? But they can't do nothing we'd about be, it. We'd be the rebels, right? No, dude, we'll be dead a long time ago. <laughs> but that's that was sad, you know, because he did who shot us with the tank, didn't he? Isn't that yeah, what he, he fucking shut did? Shut up. <laughs> Isn't that what he did to his uncle? The fucking Jung Jung, whatever the oh, fuck he's yeah, like, North he, Korea? Yeah. He, he put him in fucking him. Shot, shot him with the tank. To prove a fucking point. But then he poisoned... Who the does other that? Dude, that's so brutal. <laughs> but then he poisoned the other one, no? Yeah, yeah, but no, one of them, the most fucked up one, he brought him and he put him there. He's like, oh yeah, now didn't shoot him, put him, poked his ass he over there. He got up. everybody on a fucking tank, a big ass fucking oh, fuck. tank. And boom. 
Gone. Shot him with. <laughs> Who shoots a human being with the tank? What the fuck? <laughs> Russia. Russia. Jesus. Fuck you, Russia. You know, it's. Yeah. Yeah, no, dude. Life is too fucking short for all that crap. Yeah, but they, know? yeah, I know. But they don't Wherever see it. Wherever you are like in the that. world, go out and live your own fucking life the way you want to live it. They don't see it fuck like them that. All. Or maybe they do. They just don't give a fuck. Who? Whoever. Who doesn't give a fuck? The people who are fucking fucking things up. Like the right oppressed. now, there's there's the a op- problem with Morocco right now and, and Algeria. Really? There's, yeah. The Algerian government has been acting stupid lately, so and I think I read in the news that um Russia, they're opening doors to Russia. Great. To op- to build a base in um in Algeria, Come so on, he's people, people he's teaming up with, with he's teaming up with Russia and Wake I guess up. last week Biden he did uh, some sort of uh, emergency to put a Mor- to put an American base in Morocco. Wow! Just to cut this bullshit because fucking again here we go bullshit like Russia. Just, yeah, but then it's the same thing. Like now, the U.S. Is, ha, has a base over there in Morocco, and they're they're, they're gonna want to fucking do whatever they want. No, he, no. no but like, if they put a base in Morocco, no, it's gonna calm the fuck the shit down. I know it uh, will. No, believe me, I know, I know, because yeah, Algeria. I mean, it's and again, it's not even the Algerian people. It's the fucking government, mm-hmm. you know, because everybody who try to do that shit, they just end up in the shit. I don't know. I, I just think it. Anybody and everybody should be able to live the life they want to live, no matter what. You know? So, like they say in the movies, get busy living or get busy dying. You know? Yeah. It's fucking time is too fucking short. Right? Very short. It is, when you think Very about it. Very fucking short. Like, yeah. like the, the way I picture the whole fucking universe, it wouldn't even, like, it doesn't even make, that's me, that's my interpretation oh, of it. Like, Okay, we talk about the Big Bang, right? And it's an explosion that happened. And the universe is expanding billions, and it was happening for billions of years. Billions of years so ago. this is how I'm looking at it. I'm looking at like a fucking match. You light up a match and it goes. In your perspective, your time, in your brain, it took fucking three or four, five seconds, right? Mm-hmm. That's how the universe is. So through that explosion of the match, there was a lot of shit that happened in there. And it was part of it was Earth that had humans that were like living and stressed out, and it was fucking nothing. It was a fucking three second. The whole universe for us is like a not even a blink of an eye. It's like a little fucking just the time that humanity was on Earth. Yeah, is nothing. It's it's minimalistic. Yeah, very, 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 and just our own lives are just way too short. I don't know. But people don't. Greed. Well, what is it? I mean, seriously, have you ever thought about it? Why? Why do humans act this way, dude? Why? Because we created stupid things that aren't really our lives to influence our lives. You know, fucking money, fucking this, Is that. it just the animal in us still fucking thinking we're in a... I don't what, think why? it's the animal in us. I, I think it's the why human do countries that fight? Can... Why do all this bullshit? Why exactly? Power. There's an interest. I mean, money. I mean, everybody could Product. live just fine. Oh, I know. There's enough you for know, everybody. You know there what I mean? Is. Yes. <laughs> but like, you get live. stupid fucking governments that think they can control people. Tell them how to live. Tell them how not to live. What to do. What not to do. What to read. What not. Yeah, exactly. And there's a lot of those people that fall into the sheep category. You know. Are we? And we don't know. There's a lot of fucking sheep out there. <laughs> Have you ever thought yeah. about it? I'm not Man. One. Yeah, I don't want to. Like, I, I, I don't want to be no sheep. Yeah. What just they? Because the sheep doesn't think they're sheep. Well, they, they don't, don't know yeah. they are. Yeah. They don't. But yeah, because that's why education is so fucking important. So maybe we're sheep and we don't fucking know. <laughs> 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 we, we are the lucky ones that can reason and learn and, you know. Yeah, I mean, we're still animals. We can form but... our own lives and create our own lives to do things. We can do great things, but... We also do terrible things to each other. You know, it's pathetic. It's sad. And it all comes from greed and money and power and control. It's like, grow the fuck up. (laughs) Just have fun with each other, man. I'm having 
fun with this guy uh, from Morocco. Who, I know. You know, it's like. I want to go hang out where he used to live and I'll eat take his guys. food I'll and, take you, guys. you know, we'll meet go. his people and have fun and experience things. Mm-hmm. It broadens my world. It mm-hmm. makes my life more fulfilled. I think mm-hmm. that's in the end, you know, live a fucking life that's fulfilling because yeah. seriously, 80, 85 years, 90 years, you're gone. Yep. You're gone. And nobody will fucking remember you. They're going to remember us. Well, for a while and then you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, and I had a problem with that. Like, I used to hear that a lot. What do you want to be remembered when you're dying? I can give a fuck. <laughs> I'm <laughs> dead. Yeah. When I'm dead, it fuck? I hate that fucking question. When I, whenever I die, they're going to remember me for you what? Know, a week, a month, I, and I, I I'm gone. I, just, I don't even fucking care if you remember me or not. I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be in one of those Christmas movies that yeah, gets played like, every yeah, Christmas like, so they can see me till the end of some time. People You're going to be like Mariah so Carey. Uh, white Christmas, you know? Yeah, I hear that and it, Most it always time. trips me out. Like, it's like, fuck. what would you like to be remembered when you're dead? Like, if I care. That I was here and I had a good fucking time. Like, yeah, seriously. I care, I I care about my life and me living existence. Kids, I want to know what people will think of me when I'm living, not when I'm <laughs> dead. <laughs> It's I mean, like I'm going to give you an Oscar when you're dead. Big fucking deal. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> You'll big get inducted into the Hall of Fame yeah. when you die. Yeah, yeah. big fucking Too deal. fucking late, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put a fucking statue for you when you're dead. Oh, Fuck thanks. you and your statue. <laughs> give me my statue now, damn it. <laughs> exactly. Why do we always wait until it's fucking late to do something for some people? Yeah. I, uh, I don't, I don't dude, get it. The world is weird. It, it, it really up. is, but or they use that shit to politi- politi- pol- politicize, politicize. There you go, to politicize some bullshit. Yeah, that's all it is. Like, Powerful okay, well, I'm, greed. you know what? Uh, Mark was a great actor. <laughs> you know, now that he's dead, and a lot of people know him. Let's build a statue, and we can get in through that shit and use yeah, it as politics. He was alive. You didn't give a shit. You yeah. know, you treated him like shit, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Where was my Oscar when I was yeah, alive? Yeah, motherfuckers. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck. uh, Damn. Yeah, too funny. All we can it do is, is dude, smile. Dude, they put a fucking cookies away from me. Or been get stripped. busy dying. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That fucking, yeah. Great, yeah, that's great it. movie. Yeah. If you remember which movie it came from. But the sad part about this whole fucking thing is people are still going to be fucking dumbasses. And angry. And angry. And sad. And it's going to last. Mad, and they're going to have until, regret. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. Don't don't have regrets. Get out there and fucking do shit. Whatever it is, help other people. Nobody wants to help anybody. Oh, that's not true. Yeah, no, that's not true. Mm-hmm. You can do a lot, even few, when you're old. Few, you know what, dude? I take really I few. take I take care of my dad. I take him to his <laughs> Parkinson's meeting twice a week. Sure. And there's it's a room full of twenty, thirty. I don't know. It depends. Sometimes a lot of people. Sometimes not too many. But these people are in their eighties and. And they're great people, mm. you know, and they come up to me and they talk to me and they know me by name and they tell me stories about their lives. And I'm like, that's really cool, mm. you know, and I feel sorry because, you know, you see how this disease is attacking their bodies and their minds mm. and they're losing it, you know, but I, I, I've acquired a profound respect for senior citizens, mm. you know, and listen to their stories. Mm-hmm. Like you yeah, said, listen to their stories. Listen to their yep. experiences. You'll be fucking blown away. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. and the thing is, you can't see them as old people. I, when I talk to them, I try to talk to them and see them as they are as my age right. or younger. Well, I mean, of the times that's not how they feel. About. Like I know, they, they might weird. look old, but in, right. inside they like if mirror didn't exist, they're probably going to think they look different. Right, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, but we all see them as old farts. Yeah, of course. You know, but don't. These are these are young people that have had all a lot experience. of experience mm-hmm. and a lot of stories. Just think, they they weren't born and became like that. <laughs> like <laughs> you know, it's like no, oh, old no, people just got but, born and turned like that. But no, yeah, no. he lived all your yeah. fucking life. He knew everything you're going through. Every like yeah. it happens with my daughter sometimes when I tell them something like, "How would you know that?" I'm like, "Well." 
I wasn't born like this. Just mm -hmm. back and I became 40 <laughs> some years old. <laughs> no, there's a lot yeah. of broken dishes behind uh, you. Yeah, I was exactly. I was once your age. I totally yeah. get it. I and understand. You got to picture them as younger people, not as the old people that mm -hmm. they might be at that time. And it's, you know, it, it's it's cool. I, I had one, one older gentleman come up to me and he says, you know, I watched the six movies that you were in mm -hmm. and I had a lot of fun watching them. Good. They were really cool. Good. And I'm like, wow, this guy's telling me that he watched all my movies. And I'm like, this is really cool. And so we start talking about filmmaking here in Las Cruces and stuff like that. And he goes, yeah, you guys keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Keep telling stories, mm -hmm. you know, because that's what life is all about. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, that's it. It's a journey, man. It's not the destination because the destination is a fucking grave. <laughs> that's yeah. the end. That's, yeah. that's everybody's spoiler. <laughs> that is the end. Is this the end, man, Fred? What oh, are we, shit. What are we How long have we been at it? Uh, 56 minutes. Holy oh, fuck. Shit. Say it went goodbye, quick. It all went right, quick. let's wrap it up, I guess. Dude, so go out there, live yeah. your life to the fullest to extent the fullest. that you can because time is ticking. Yeah, enjoy it right now. Talk to each other, communicate, mm -hmm. have fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Go and look and in live the live life or die. And yeah, and don't follow <laughs> us, don't listen to us. And be educated. Be yeah. fucking smart. Yes, <laughs> critical thinking. <laughs> yeah. Use your mind. Listen to all the white noise out there. Uh, and take what you need and get rid mind. of what you don't need. <laughs> use Play your some mind. music, Mount Fred. We're Kick fucking out of here because we Kick gotta it. go sit by the fire and Kick drink. It. Fuck yeah, let's dude. Go. We still got a fire. All right, let's go, man. Cheers, humanity. humanity. Cheers, episode. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's rock it out. Cheers, cheers, man, Fred. Cheers. Yeah, baby. All right, so this this I put this thing here. It's just paper. Can I blow my nose? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we are out. Fuck yeah. Ha <laughs> ha.